Okay, so we're going to be using the coil construction method. It's one of the hand building um, techniques for working with clay. So you're going to get your first piece of clay from me. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of just get it rounded out a little bit in your hands. Um, and then once it starts to take um, like a round tube shape, you're going to um, put it on your board on your table. And you're gonna want to, sometimes I, I roll with both hands, sometimes I start with just one and hold on to my board so it doesn't slide away from me. Um, and just kind of go backwards until it starts getting round like it would roll easily, okay? So once I know it's gonna roll easily, then I take both hands and I start rolling gently back and forth. And I'm standing, I'm not sitting. Standing is important because then I can stand over the table with my shoulders pushing down. Um, and if I start to feel like there's an area that's wider, like thicker than another area, I'm gonna focus on that spot. Um, so you can kind of see my coil is already like growing off to the side of the camera here because it's a little bit thicker in this spot. So I keep focusing on this area. Um, I'm also going to feel for any flat surfaces, like if I start to feel like it's getting flat in the, in the area, I'm going to just tip it up on the side, tap it off a little bit so that I can get it to roll again. And then once it starts getting, you know, um, pretty thinned out, it might break. If it breaks, let's say it breaks there. If it breaks, that's absolutely fine. Um, it's harder to keep a long coil together anyway. So don't throw the pieces away or crumple them up if they are broken. It's fine to use them. So I'm just measuring to make sure it's about the size of my pinky finger. And it is approximately the size of my pinky. So that means it's ready to be used. Okay. And I can actually get a tiny bit thinner if I want. So my first thing I'm going to start with is a base layer. So I'm just curling this in like to make a snail shell. And so I went one time around. Now I'm gonna go two times around and I'm paying attention to where my beginning is. So I'm back at the beginning, okay? So here's where I started, one, two, and now I'm gonna go three times around. And here I am back at the beginning again. So one, two, three. And I'm gonna chop that off um, and I'm going to just check both sides. They look good. So I've got kind of a mini snail shell here. I'm gonna set these pieces aside because I can use these, but I am going to actually blend this bottom together by using my fingers, just using my fingertip and the clay should be wet enough in that plastic stage that I should be able to easily push that clay side to side without really, like I don't wanna be like really pushing it hard cause then it's, it's gonna um, thin out my coil. So if you look at my coil, it's still the same kind of pinky size because I'm just pushing very, very gently, okay? Once I get that nice and smoothed out, that's when I'm gonna place it in the bottom. I wanna keep it around there. So once it's nice and smooth, I'm gonna put that in the bottom of my mold. And the, remember your mold is the bowl, okay? So I'm gonna to try to center that in the bottom of the bowl as much as possible. Okay, so that's what I want to for sure get done on day one. If I have any extra pieces um, on day one, then I'm just going to set these off to the side because I can actually use these tomorrow when I'm ready to keep going. Okay, and then I'm going to not pick this bag up and out. I'm going to leave all the clay resting on the bottom and I'm gently going to fold this in pushing out any air, but I'm not lifting it. I'm just gently folding it in so I can kind of keep that air 
from getting into my clay too much. And then I'm going to take that and put it in storage for tomorrow.